Hey everybody. I want to talk to you today about a question we get asked a lot and that is, can I front port my speakers? So most people ask us this question because they say they intend to put the speaker right up against the wall. And the assumption is that a front ported speaker will have less bass, it'll have, uh, it, it'll be easier to place against the wall than a rear ported speaker. So I want to talk to you about what the reality versus the myth is. And I'm going to show you some measurements that we did. We actually built two identical speakers. The only difference was one of them was front ported and one of them was rear ported. We took measurements with them up against the wall um, as close as we could get them without blocking the port to show you the difference that you're going to see. And what we found in the end was that there really is no difference. And that's what we've been telling people for a while, but we wanted to verify that with measurements. So let's start uh, first by talking about how a speaker reacts when you push it up close to a wall. So this is regardless of whether you're a front ported or rear ported speaker. When you push a speaker closer to the wall, you get boundary reinforcement off the, the back wall. So you're getting bass reinforcement in those low frequencies. Uh, everything below, honestly, about uh, 500 to 1,000 hertz, uh, just below the baffle step region, you'll start to see some differences there. And that's because you're getting reflections off the back wall that start to sum in phase the closer you get to the back wall. Now, you may get some additional cancellations at different frequencies, but overall, you're going to get more bass with any speaker, no matter whether it's front or rear ported, as you push it closer to the wall. And that's because the bass frequencies are actually longer than the, the distance of the, the depth of the cabinet. So when you push that speaker up to the wall, it doesn't matter whether the, that port is coming from the front or rear because the wavelengths coming out of that port are so long that it doesn't see the difference. The only thing that you run into with a rear ported speaker is you can't push the speaker completely flush against the wall. So you, you have to leave a couple of inches uh, the typical rule of thumb, and, and we haven't tried this with measurements to see how it impacts things, but the typical rule of thumb is roughly uh, about the, the diameter of the port or double the diameter of the port to ensure that you're not blocking the output. Um, and when we did our measurements, what we did was we have uh, four inch sound panels behind the speakers. We pushed them all the way up to the four inch sound panel, both the front and rear ported. So the, the rear port had about four inches of space. So that's what most people I think would consider pushed up against the wall. And we took the measurements to see what the difference was between those two. Okay, let's talk about how we actually did this test. So we started with two identical speaker cabinets. The only difference was that one had ports on the front and the other had ports on the rear. We kept the distance from the floor, uh, from where the ports are to the floor, identical on both the front and back so that we could eliminate that variable. And then we took the speakers and we pushed them all the way up until they touched the sound panel that's behind where we usually use our speakers so that they were touching. That left about four inches uh, from the rear ports to the wall because our uh, sound panels are four inches thick. And that would be about 17 inches uh, for the front ports because the we've got four inches to the back of the cabinet and then the cabinet was 13 inches deep. So this was our setup. We, we uh, placed the microphone on tweeter axis out into the room. We were at about uh, 65 inches out from the speaker so that we could get room influence from this. And then we took measurements of both speakers. And what we found was that both speakers measured almost identical. They're in the bass response there was less than a dB of difference. Um, we level matched both of these speakers in the mid-range uh, so that we could try to eliminate any differences so, or so that we could see any differences between the, the bass response. So they're level matched somewhere between like one and two kilohertz. Um, and like I said, what we found was that there's less than a dB of difference uh, between the two uh, in the bass region. And that's not surprising to us. That's exactly what we expected. And that's what we've been telling customers. The biggest impact on pushing the speaker uh, 
against the wall is going to be the boundary reinforcement that you get from the wall. And to prove this, we actually did measurements of both speakers um, as we moved it out into the room. And what we found is, you know, what we've been telling people that as you move the speaker out to the room, you get less bass. On both versions, this was exactly the same. We saw a decrease in, in bass output at the low frequencies as we move the speaker out to the room. The, the only real difference you'll see between these two speakers is what is impacted by the modal region or everything below the Schrodinger frequency. So this is the Schrodinger frequency is the frequency that's uh, called the cutoff for where the room dominates your uh, speaker response. So below the Schrodinger frequency, the room is dominating everything that you're seeing. And what we saw with both ports is that this was the variation that we're seeing is in that Schrodinger frequency. And that's not unexpected either. That, that's kind of exactly what we expected because there is some distance between where the ports are. So it's just like positioning a subwoofer around your room. As you move the subwoofer in and out of the room or left and right in the room, you're going to see changes in the peaks and valleys in your response in your room because the room is what's actually dominating that. So with that said, I know the next question that you guys are getting ready to ask is, why are we starting to offer front ported speakers instead of rear ported speakers? So that's really just because you guys just keep asking about it. Uh, we've been asked so many times over the last year if you can build it as a front ported or if we can make a front ported option because you're planning on pushing it up against the wall. We know that this myth is too big that we're not going to solve the problem on our own and we get so many asks about it that we've just started moving to front ported speakers instead.